Hey beauties, welcome back to another segment of Kim Cooks Live, where I teach you how to make really easy, healthy, delicious meals that are gonna boost your health, your beauty, your energy, and help you slim down naturally. So today I'm gonna to be making my mushroom and Napa cabbage lime stir fry, which is an amazing meal. It's very easy to make. It's packed with protein, vitamins A and C, iron, calcium, and I'm gonna show you how to make one um, you're going to be cooking once. It's going to make two servings, one for dinner and one for lunch the next day. It packs really easily. And this is actually a brand new recipe from my new 30-day um, healthy roadmap program, which I'm launching next week. I'm launching on September 21st. I'm super excited. Um, I haven't launched a program like this in years, and I've actually... Um, years it's been since I've launched any information product and I've actually never launched a healthy weight loss program like this so I'm super excited to share that with you guys and I'm going to walk you through how to emphasis on healthy there's a lot of ways we can lose weight but this is about really um, again nurturing your energy nurturing your skin and your beauty and just giving yourself the most nutrients so you feel amazing. Um, I use the term old skinny and sick skinny. Weight is not the most important thing. We want to slim down naturally so we have more energy. We're not carrying any excess. We certainly don't want to do it in an unhealthy way, uh, which is unfortunately, um, you know, many different ways that we can lose weight are pretty unhealthy. So hey guys, see you guys um, starting to tune in. I'm going to put my hair back a little bit and start to get into it. Um, I hear Bubby waking up, but Lolo is upstairs and Auntie Eva is upstairs, so they will be with him. Um, I see him starting to lie down again and up, so it's just sort of like um, navigating when Bubby's napping. Now he's switching from two naps to one nap. So back to the recipe. The first thing we're going to do is um, just a little bit of uh, food prep here. I've got one cup of sliced cremini mushrooms. Mushrooms are really great, a uh, great source of protein, a really great source of vitamin D. And we're gonna be using um, one and a half cups of sliced cabbage. And this is a really fantastic beauty food. A lot of people just think cabbage is, um, you know, just a cheap food, like a garnish or something like that. But cabbage is actually really high in fiber. It's got great vitamins in it. It's got great minerals. It's a really cleansing food. It's great for detoxification. It naturally detoxes our body. Um, it naturally keeps us full. We don't obsess about calories and beauty detox, but it's just a natural way to fill up and slim down and cleanse out. Um, hold on one second, beauties. I just want to make sure that Bubby is okay. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I didn't go anywhere. I was just making sure Auntie was grabbing Bubby, juggling everything, being a mom, working mom. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay, so we just talked about the cabbage. We talked about the mushrooms, which are you know the veggies in this. And now we have. We're going to use some cooked quinoa, which I've soaked um, and sprouted overnight. It's a little bit. It looks a little bit more mushy sometimes when you sprout it and you soak it. Um, and I actually. That's not why it's mushy. It's mushy because I cooked it in a lot of water. I was busy and I didn't measure as much, but it's okay because I used um, a bigger strainer than this just to drain it. Which sometimes I don't, I don't measure a lot when I cook personally, so it's just easier sometimes to sort of do it that way and I drained it. So this is also gonna be in our stir fry. Um, we're gonna be cooking the stir fry in some organic coconut oil. And after we turn off the heat, we're gonna be adding some fresh lime juice which is gonna add nice flavor, lots of vitamin C, uh, really delicious, and some fresh um, cilantro, which is also great for detoxing and cleansing our body. Um, there's been research showing that cilantro can actually help bind to um, heavy metals and chelate or move them out of our bodies, which is really important for long-term weight loss uh, because the more cleansed and detoxified we are from heavy metals, um, the less the, these metals cause free radicals and inflammation, they keep our organs from functioning as as well as properly, so it's important to keep cleaning out. So these are really two cleansing foods. We're gonna add them after we cook. Um, and then we have some amazing spices here, especially cumin and coriander. Cumin is fantastic for revving up your metabolism and getting everything going. 
and it, it adds just great flavor. We're gonna add a little bit of um, sea salt. I forgot to put this over here as well. You guys have seen me use this in other segments. I love this Himalayan pink sea salt. It's got lots of trace minerals, it's pink, um, it's delicious, it's not, like, um, it's not like table salt at all. And I think that, um, I think that it's a really great salt to use. So I'm gonna put on the air. I always do this, just a little reminder. Um, our kitchen is connected to our living room and the rest of our house. If I don't do this, my whole house starts to smell like all the stuff I'm cooking. <laughs> so I do that for everyone's sake. And so in this recipe, I'm gonna turn this on just to like a medium heat. As I mentioned, if you guys are just tuning in, welcome. I'm making our mushroom and Napa cabbage lime stir fry. It's a really great meal. It makes great leftovers. Um, it's high in protein. Each serving has about eight grams of pure plant protein, which assimilates, absorbs really well in your body. Lots of vitamin A, lots of vitamin C, fiber. It's a great natural weight loss food. Um, and it's really easy to make, which is you know part of the whole roadmap. This is one of the new recipes in the 30-day roadmap. Um, so the criteria for the recipes is that they're easy, easy, easy to make, and that you don't have to cook every meal. Um, the recipes make really great leftovers. Um, so you can uh, reuse them, get a lot of bang for your buck, cook something and rework it the next day. So we're gonna put in about a teaspoon of coconut oil, I'm not measuring per se. I'm just gonna pour it in here and sort of swish it around. And I'm gonna keep that down between medium, medium, low. We don't wanna overheat. So while I'm doing that, you guys saw a cup, um, I already sliced the cremini mushrooms and you can put that off to the side. By the way, I was just in Japan for a couple weeks. I'm going to put my hair back so I don't torch my hair. <laughs> I, um, I was in Japan for a couple weeks and I loved all the mushrooms over there and washed my hands because I just touched my hair. Um, I'm kind of a germaphobe, clean freak by the way. So I wash my hands a lot. Anytime anything touches my cutting board, like these limes, you can see they're wet. I wash them. I wash avocados. Like it's just the way I've always been. <laughs> um, but I was saying in Japan, I loved. I had a lot of shiitake mushrooms, maitake mushrooms, so many different kinds of mushrooms, and it just got me really inspired about mushrooms and how they're such an amazing healing, beauty food uh, worldwide, especially in countries like Japan. And being you know, plant-based in Japan, and I would explain this to all the restaurants and places I would go, I got a lot of mushrooms. I also got a lot of tofu, but I got a lot of mushrooms in my diet. Um, so it was, really, it was a really fantastic experience. So now we're gonna do, um, let's see, where's my cup measurement? Hold on. Ah, here it is. So what I'm gonna do for the cabbage, and again, when I measure, I'm sort of like, like very sort of not exact. Just like a cup and a half. I'm just gonna eyeball about a cup and a half. You guys can use um, red cabbage, i.e. purple cabbage, I like to call it, because it really is technically purple, isn't it? Or green cabbage. Either way, you're getting a lot of benefits, all that fiber, all that goodness, as I mentioned. So this is starting to get quite warm. So the first thing I'm going to put in is the mushrooms. I'm going to let them cook down into the cup sliced. By the way, I love cooking with wooden spoons. And there's something really earthy about it. And um, I don't know, it's just my favorite uh, kitchen tool to, to cook stir fries with. So you guys can see this is a very well-worn kitchen spoon. The black marks are from leaving the wooden spoon on the hot pot and pan, something I do a lot. Um, I forget. So if you guys have it too, you're obviously definitely not the only ones. So I'm just gonna cook this um, stir fry. What I love about this again, and the meals like this, and all the meals on the 30-day program, if you are someone that wants to make a meal in 10 minutes or less, you're busy, you come home from work, you have kids, you wanna relax after a long day, this program is for you because these recipes are as simple and easy as can be. I'm just adding now the um, I'm just adding the cabbage, and I'm just going to let it stir for a couple minutes, which is what I really like about stir fries. And you guys will see, often when I make stir fries, I like to have the component of what's cooked and what's raw. We're going to add the cilantro and the lime at the end. 
So you're combining cooked and raw in one meal, which I feel like is a fantastic weight loss combination. You're getting fiber, you're getting enzymes from the raw food, you're getting certain foods, like for many of us, cabbage can be easy, more easily digested when it's cooked and the fiber is broken down a little bit, but it still has a lot of fiber nonetheless. Um, this is just a really nourishing meal. It's so easy to make when you get home from work, which is key. Not a lot of cleanup. And like I said, what's great is we're going to split this in half. You're going to have half for dinner, and you're going to have half for lunch the next day. So you don't have to think. And you're like, oh, great, I just had this fibrous meal with all the protein, everything I need. And what you can do for lunch the next day is top it on top of a green salad. And if this was my dinner, because I do like to eat a lot, and Mama has a pretty big appetite, but as anybody from Caitlin to Tony, anybody in our community, I'm also going to eat this with a big, huge green salad. Um, probably I need more fat, like some avocado, some, you know, uh, what else? I would add some bell pepper, some carrots. Like I would just have a big salad besides this or a soup, and you guys will see that in the meal plan as well. There's different components to the meals. And I'm so excited to launch it. It's coming out on the 21st. So you guys can get more information on, um, on KimberlyCenter.com. You can sign up for the free webinar on the 21st where I talk through. I'm also going to give you guys a bunch of um, weight loss tips on there as well. So this is the cup of my cooked quinoa, which I soaked overnight. Or oh, you guys, if you forget to soak and sprout, you can also just, um, you can just, buy the sprouted quinoa, it's like a dollar or two more. It's well worth it. Sprouting helps with better nutrient absorption. It helps to remove lectins. Um, it's just a really fantastic process. So I often keep cooked quinoa, cooked brown rice, um, just staples in my fridge so that I can throw them together for easy meals like this. And this is something I also teach in the roadmap, how to batch cook so it's really easy. Okay, so now we've been cooking for like two minutes and our meal is almost ready. This is the kind of cooking I like to do. People sometimes say to me, oh, well, maybe like do you cook perfectly all the time or do you make all this like beautiful food all the time? And I said, no, like I use good ingredients. I know how to properly food combine. I know what's going to get my body to work better. We really support my digestion, my gut, the fuel burning. Get things so that my body is nourished, but it's easy to maintain my weight and to uh, really nourish me. But my meals are actually really, really simple. And so simple, so easy, and it just works better for my lifestyle. So, and I bet it works for you too. For most of us, right? We don't want to have... Um, we don't want to have meals that are like super intense and you know just take up all our lives because there's a million things going on. So for this, we're adding, we're gonna actually add quite a bit of spice. I'm just looking at how I wrote this recipe. It's one and a half teaspoons of coriander. If you guys are new to these spices, or you don't like them, of course you can mix and match. But I love these spices. They're considered medicine in Ayurvedic medicine. They have a lot of different properties. Um, coriander has a, has a nice uh, cooling effect in your system. Cumin is really fantastic for your metabolism. Um, so they kind of, they work together. They create balance in this meal. I love the way that cumin smells, by the way. I'm uh, obsessed. So I'm going to do equal parts here. One and a half teaspoons. I fell in love with cumin. Um, you guys remember recipe and Beauty Detox Foods for my uh, gorilla wraps, my raw taco gorilla wraps, um, was cumin. That's when I started really using cumin and I've been obsessed ever since. Oh my gosh, or was that the Beauty Detox Solution? <laughs> I don't remember anymore which book it was, um, but it was one of those first two books and that's when I was like, oh my gosh, cumin is, it can be in Mexican food, it can be in Indian food, it can be, it's just this amazing spice to have around. Oh, and this is my favorite brand um, for spices. It's Frontier Co-op. It's organic. It's fair trade. The spices are really fresh and potent. Um, so if you guys just keep some couple really great spices around, then it's going to make your cooking so much easier. I got my pink sea salt. And, you know, with salt in recipes, I never really put an amount because everybody has a different salt tolerance, a different salt taste. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix all this in. Pretty much taking it off the heat. If you guys, um, I suggest investing in some ceramic pans or um, the green pan if you don't want to buy a whole set, just to make cleanup easier. 
Um, it's a lot better than like a Teflon pan, which, um, you know, there's just a lot of toxins and different metals and, and all kinds of ingredients that can be leached into our food when we use um, less than great cooking ware. So I think it's important over time. But like I said, you can invest in a green pan. You can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond or on Amazon for 20 bucks. And that would get you through a lot of the roadmap recipes. It's just having a great pan. Okay, so check it out, beauties. There's our stir fry right there. Now, I want to emphasize this. This is taken totally off the heat. The heat is off. Now we're going to start working with the lime. You don't want to heat the lime up. It's got, like lemon, not as powerful as lemon, but a great complement to lemon. It's got great um, vitamins, C, and enzymes, and it's a great cleansing weight loss food. And it just smells so fresh and amazing. <laughs> For some of us, it may remind us of like margaritas or like our favorite cocktail. Sometimes it's the only time we um, try limes. But if we start to incorporate more in our foods, it's one of those great foods that can wake up our taste buds and it's just so fresh and amazing. So this is how I squeeze it out. I um, just like to do it by hand and I'm putting it through this little strainer to catch any seeds. And so for this recipe, we're going to be using um, two tablespoons. So I'm going to um, squeeze both of them or if you guys prefer, there's this like core, uh, lemon core, but I don't use it that much because it's another thing to wash. So I pretty much just do it myself. Sometimes I get my fingers in there. I've just been always, you know, we all have different ways that we cook and I try for time saving purposes to use as little kitchen equipment as possible so there's less to clean. And that's just my mantra. I want to cook more when there's less to clean. I want to cook more when it's easier. I want to cook more when I don't have to slave in the kitchen. I want to cook more when I get more meals out of one meal. So if I was to make this for lunch, you know, sometimes people ask me, well, is it okay to reheat food? And what about Ayurveda that says everything that needs to be made fresh? And I just think that, you know, in practical terms, it's okay to um, reuse foods. It's okay to have things the next day especially if you're not overcharring it, overheating it again, uh, reworking the food. For me, I would take this out of the fridge and I wouldn't necessarily reheat it. I wouldn't reheat the veggies per se. I would let the foods warm up to room temperature so that we're not, you know, um, just torturing the vegetables by reheating them. It's a personal choice, but you know, the nutrients are there. We're just letting it warm up so it's not cold food per se. It still has a lot of nutrients in it. It's still better than most anything we could buy, and it's a fantastic practical tip for cooking. So now I'm adding two tablespoons of lime juice. And notice again, I just want to mention to you guys, I did this after turning off the heat, so we're not denaturing any of that precious enzyme or vitamin C content. So this is two servings here. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to divide it in half in the pan, and I've got my plate here ready to go. She don't need this. That would be another thing to clean. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my wooden spoon and I'm going to measure about half of this onto the plate. So again, we've got the quinoa, we've got the veggies, um, the mushrooms, the cabbage, and then I would take some fresh cilantro. I would also eat this with a salad, but the fresh cilantro adds a nice, fresh touch. And I would just put a huge bunch. I'm a cilantro lover. I hope you guys are too. Some of us are not, and I know that. You could also add parsley instead, or even some fresh basil. Voila! Look at this nice, big, amazing plate of food, which again is going to be dinner, and then it's also going to be lunch tomorrow. See, and I just made that in a couple minutes. So this is something that you guys can make so fast, so quickly. Again, this has lots of protein, calcium, iron, minerals, other minerals, vitamins A and C. Um, it's got cleansing properties. It's got it's amazing weight loss food. It's going to keep you full, nourished. It's going to also um, really help nourish your energy and your skin. So this is the mushroom and Napa cabbage lime stir fry. And this is part of the 30-day healthy roadmap, healthy weight loss roadmap, which is coming to you on September 21st. 
please tune in for more information from that. Um, hi, Paige. Hi, guys. And Kate in Tasmania. That's amazing. I've been to Tasmania a couple years ago, and I love, I love it. I love Australia for sure. Uh, hi, Clarissa from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, Kristen, all the information on the roadmap is on um, the website, and you guys can, can log into the webinar on the 21st, and I'll give you guys all the details there. Yay, Nina says the store and the probiotics changed her life. That's amazing to hear. I love it. It took a few seconds to load. Okay, thanks, Adi. Is this 30-day recipe on your website? All the information is going to be on the website. They didn't get how Facebook works. Okay, okay. Amazing. Yes, Shannon says food is great when you put love into it. That's totally true. Shannon says, enjoy the podcast with Tony. Paulo says, um, great vibes. Awesome. <laughs> That's funny. Shannon says, I wish I could be your nanny and run your auntie. Yes, you know, we have an amazing village here in the house. I uh, do some of the cooking. She does some of the meals. Um, she just helps everything around the house so I can really focus on Bubby and the work and you guys. So yeah, well, and this, um, this is what I offer for you guys today. I hope you guys try it for yourself. I hope you love it. Um, I will see you guys back here next week for another segment. Um, again, please go to the website for more information on the roadmap. It's launching next week. Have a fantastic week. Take care of yourself. And I'll be around. You guys can find me on, uh, here, on other social, on the blog. Lots of love. Have a great rest of your day.